Hi Collective, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Earth Angel 111. I'm gonna pull some love messages from the person on your mind. So do remember to take what resonates, okay? This could be someone you're dating, someone you're not talking to, or someone you're crushing on, but they're love messages, okay? So only take it if it resonates. So let's get into it. First message. Asking if they approve blocked this. Okay, so for some of you, if you're not in a relationship with this person or it took a long time for you to come together, it's because they asked someone else's opinion who is not a fan of you, okay? Or did not want to see this person come towards you. Ultimately, there was a third party influence here that told your person not to come towards you. Now, for those of you who are in a long-term connection with someone, they could have asked for your hand in marriage, asked the family's approval. That could have also been what blocked something if your person was planning on marrying you. It says, I know you are my person. So definitely for some of you, if you're watching for someone you've dated long-term and you've wondered why they've never popped the question, that's because they could have asked someone in your family's approval who could have really tried to say no. Um, at the end of the day, though, I guess this person could have listened. So it says past life soulmates. This is someone you've spent many a lifetimes with before. Now, this is wild because I feel like for some of you, if someone tried to ask for your hand in marriage, you guys could be in no communication now. Maybe they stayed away from you because someone said that they didn't approve of your relationship. Really makes me sad to pick up on this energy because whoever you are, it's like, People should just choose love, right? The opinions of others should not matter. We've got Aquarius. So you could be an Aquarius or your person could be an Aquarius. Wow, coming in strong. We've got Capricorn. So you or your person could be a Capricorn. It says, I'm finally ready to commit. Now, if you and your person are both Aquarius and Capricorn, this is definitely a reading, y'all. It says, I'm finally ready to commit, okay? So this could be someone who ran away from your connection before based on others' opinions of you two being in a long-term connection or even just dating. You're going to know how it resonates. You are perfect to me. I want to kiss every part of your body. Your touch makes me tingle. So you're dealing with someone who's incredibly attracted to you, okay? This person finds you to be someone who is not only physically appealing, but emotionally appealing to them. And for a lot of you, if this is someone you didn't date, they feel like they asked someone else's opinion who possibly didn't agree with your connection and allowed that to get in the way. It says watching you from a fake profile. So right now this person, if you're in no communication with them, they are keeping tabs on you this kind of way. Okay, making sure you're not moving forward with anyone else. says, I get really jealous easily. I'm trying to change. So y'all are dealing with someone who feels very much so like you are meant to be in their life and no one else. So this person could have a really hard time if you guys aren't fully together in a relationship or in any type of union. They could have a, a difficult time watching other people give you attention, okay? Especially if they are watching from a fake profile. So some of you could have this person blocked or they have you blocked, but they're keeping tabs on you in other ways says saying goodbye to you was the hardest thing in my entire life my heart is broken so wow i'm really picking up for some of you this is someone who you could have been in a long-term connection with and then they asked for someone's approval to commit in a higher form either build a family with you um get married to you move in with you and they could have asked either their family or your family and someone could have said no and got in the way of this connection so if they are feeling protective over you, maybe you're wondering why things kind of fizzled out or you didn't hear from them. This is why. And family could be very important to your person, right? So if your family didn't approve or their family, they felt like they had no choice. I'm really almost picking up like the story of Romeo and Juliet, right? Like a forbidden love. Now, if this was a family that uh, blocked this, this could have been very close friends of theirs, co-workers, people whose opinion they really value says best kisser yum so this is someone who loves kissing you okay it says they miss you a lot ah so yeah for a lot of you this is someone that you either dated for a long time or never dated and they allowed someone else's opinion to come in the connection and stop you two from either getting together in the first place or from having a higher form of commitment this is definitely clear as day 
Um, because this is like this though, this is a little bit different of a reading I've pulled in a long time. Usually the love messages be loving, but this isn't. So I'm gonna pull you guys a couple clarifiers here. So let's get one for asking if they approve block this. Wow. This was their family or your family. Okay, so for a lot of you, if you are in a relationship with someone, things were going great, okay? Lots of passion, and then all of a sudden with that chariot, they just took off. They tried to ask your family to commit to you for the long term, and they disagreed. So you guys might not know this. You might as well for some of you, but it also might be a strong possibility that you are unaware of that fact. You could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a water sign with the cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or with the chariot there, a Cancer. But yeah, I only wanted one card, two and three came out, and it literally tells a story in itself. It was you and your person's ultimate wish fulfillment to build a family together, and someone didn't approve, so this person felt like they had no choice but to walk away from you for the long term. For some of you, this could have been their own family, okay? Like their own family didn't agree with them committing to you for long term. So they could have left and felt like, you know, your relationship was like the love of their life that kind of got away. Heavy. So yeah, you guys are definitely dealing with some past life soulmates who this could have been a repeated cycle, okay? Maybe in your lives, this was supposed to be the cycle where you guys broke that where you chose love over the opinions of others. But if you're in any type of isolation or you're not dating or communicating with this person, you're both feeling the same way. So you guys could really be mirroring each other in a sense that maybe you're watching them from a profile or they're watching you. It's almost like I'm picking up like forbidden love, okay? I will link that song below for you to check out, but like literally the words forbidden love, I really feel like that could be it. Uh, some of you, either your person's a star or you're a star. So whoever's the star, it's like if your person's the star, they could have had a team of people who said, no, you cannot go towards this person or you cannot marry them or commit. And vice versa, if you're the star, you could have a team that they tried to ask that blocked it. Okay, so take that how it resonates. That won't be for everyone. But with that moon in reverse, there's a lot of hidden feelings and secrets um, between you and this person. So this person feels kind of stuck. They feel like they have no options but to watch you either move on and like keep their feelings hidden or for others of you, they feel like they have no choice but to be strong and watch you live without them. And this could be really something that's like tearing apart their heart. I feel like a lot of you, it's either family got in the way or people that you or them consider to be family that decided for this person instead of them choosing what they felt was best. So yeah, this is only going to resonate for those who know if you had a really good connection that was either just starting out with someone or it was like really taking off to the point of a higher commitment, like marriage, moving in together, a family, and then it just plateaued. This is because the opinions of others got in the way. It could have been a Leo or a water sign that got in the way as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Leo energy. Okay, these could have been the main two significant people that told them not to come towards you as well. I'm really picking up like parental figures or if not, this is like people that they viewed to be like family in their life that told them not to come towards you. So yeah, with I'm finally ready to commit, expect some type of um, communication. Your person may come towards you and let you know how much they've missed you, how much they regret having allowed other opinions to keep you two separated but this reading is definitely for those in separation y'all were about to commit to each other and it's like they asked the wrong person okay whether they should be in a relationship with you or whether they should marry you and this is what's blocked you two from being happy in love and if you feel like your person kind of went silent on you ghost mode just no communication this is why they felt like they had to try to walk away but it's almost as if, too, with this being here, they can't get over the love that they have for you. They just can't let it go. And this is because of that past life soulmate energy. It's almost like spirit saying, okay, are you going to get it right this time, right? So if this resonates. Just know that uh, communication seems like it's coming in rather quickly from your person. Thank you for watching. Go ahead, like the video, subscribe. Until next time, bye.